Welcome back to our devotion on identity, design, and purpose as we continue our study in 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 9, which reads, But you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, his own special people, that you may proclaim the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. So we're going to mix up the order just a little bit and skip ahead to talk about being called out of darkness and into light. Darkness and light is a story as old as time. We all have seen so many movies about good versus evil, darkness versus light, and we know that story. I know my favorites are always the ones where someone from darkness is redeemed, finds redemption, and decides to walk in the light instead, even those ones where it's at the very, very end. Um, And the truth is, is that that's our story too. We have been redeemed from darkness. And while we once walked in darkness, now we get to walk in light. So let's talk a a little bit about our idea of darkness and light. Darkness, I think sometimes we tend to go a little bit dramatic and we think about the most terrible things. But here, Peter uses the word skatos and metaphorically, it means ignorance, ungodliness, and it does also mean bent toward hell. But let's look at those first two things, ignorance and ungodliness. Well, I know I can relate to those two things, that I am often ignorant of what it is that God's will is for my life. And even in situations, sometimes I'm not quite sure about things. And I do know too, that often looking back, I realize that I really behaved in an ungodly way. But God is calling us away from that. So let's look at what light is. The word here is phos, and it means power of understanding and spiritual purity. Talk about both of the opposites of those other things. So not ignorant. He's not called us to be ignorant. He's called us into the power of understanding to give us that understanding and open up our eyes. And he's not called us to ungodliness, but to spiritual purity. How amazing is that, that through Christ, we get to pursue spiritual purity and we get to claim that power of understanding. So maybe it's a little bit different than that extreme version, that dramatic version of darkness versus light that we were thinking about, but it's just as powerful. If you consider in the time of the garden with Adam and Eve, this was before Jesus came. And so Adam and Eve didn't have the power of the Holy Spirit living and residing in them to give them the power of understanding like we get to have now that Christ has come. So how blessed are we? I think Adam and Eve, actually, one of the reasons why I feel like they were so easily deceived is because they were ignorant and they didn't have that understanding. They didn't understand that there was an enemy and they didn't understand that he was trying to deceive them. So God definitely has has made a way for us to have that understanding in a better way with Christ. So let's talk about that first part of this phrase, though, he's called us out of darkness into light. If God has called us, it doesn't mean, it doesn't say that he's dragged us from darkness into light. It doesn't say he kidnapped us from darkness and 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 made us walk in the light. No, he's saying that he's calling us. And the truth is, is that God is calling us every day to walk in the light. But my question for you is, are you answering that call? Do you follow him when he calls you into that light? Are there areas of your life where maybe you're still walking in a little bit of ignorance, where maybe you're walking in ungodliness, but you can hear the voice of the Lord calling you into his spiritual purity and power of understanding? And that's what I want to encourage you in today, friends. That as you walk throughout your day, remember that God is calling you into that. Not only is he calling you into that, but he has empowered you with the power of the Holy Spirit to actually walk in it. If you have a question about what you should be doing, or if you aren't sure about your behavior or how to change, press into the Holy Spirit and the power of the Holy Spirit that lives within you and ask him to help you and to give you guidance and wisdom as you walk in the light. 
And then I hope you return tomorrow for more on identity, design, and purpose.